Hi everybody. Well today, you know, I, I don't always want there to be, you know, a specific subject that I, I talk about. Um, you know, I do kind of sometimes, you know, have a snake out and I think I've mentioned I just see something they do or something is happening and then I can something will tweak in my brain and I'll go oh yeah that's what I can actually talk about um, I today I guess it's about of course Lily um, who is out I can see you sneaking there I don't know if you guys can actually see that little head there but yeah she's pulling it back now but having social snakes is one of the most amazing things that you can have in your life and I think you all know that I place that as being one of the most important things that I do want um, from each of my snakes and Jed always has to start barking whenever I pick up the camera and he's you know honestly he has been quiet for the last I don't know hour uh, I think he just knows I've got the camera in my hand oh he's naughty he's so naughty Lily are you naughty are you naughty girl yeah but yes having a social snake in your life is uh, um, in lots of ways I see it as uh, I, what's what's the word really it is I feel very privileged that my snakes feel that way that they feel comfortable that they do like to come out and be out especially Lily she would have to be the epitome of the word a social snake she has learnt every aspect of being out and what that is and what she's allowed you know, of course sometimes she pushes um, to see if she can get away with with some things but all in all Lily Lily knows the rules a lot of the rules here and basically she knows the routine of coming out and what it is and where she goes she also knows the routine at the end of the day of what that actually is and she works with me to go home she it's really hard to explain and I do have a clip of Lily coming home and um, I think the video was Lily coming out and Lily going home um, both both start and end of that day and I'll check out the clips and see where if I can put it in and if I can I will put it in kind of now so you can see her coming home but she really does work with me to come down and go back into her enclosure and she knows that that is exactly what is going to happen and she doesn't fight me to stay up there she doesn't grip anything to stay up there she literally relaxes every muscle in her body so that I can pick her up and easily hold her and I mean I'm standing up up there reaching up and getting her up from that out from that corner and I just kind of turn her around and she she knows how to get down and she comes down but she's relaxed and I can pick her up and she sort of settles herself on me and then I climb down without falling down hey Lily though a couple of times mum has lost balance and um, 
I think I've hurt my leg or my butt, but never Lily. So, um, you know, if there was a better way to get it down, I would, but I, I, I have to, of course, tweak her to say it's, it's time to come home and otherwise she'd stay up there forever. So, yeah, the problem is, guys, when you do have an exceptionally social snake, as I feel I do have with Lily, that is what they are going to expect every day, is to be able to come out, to cruise around as Lily is right now, and just, yeah, check things out. And it is every day. There is no way I can get up and have a day where Lily isn't demanding to come out. For me, if you can't, I know that a lot of people, it might be just a couple of times a week and that their snake is, is quite content and very happy with that. Not Lily. Lily is an everyday girl. So, do I not want you to have a social snake like Lily? No, I do. And I, I would want everybody to have that. You can't get up there because there's too many bits and pieces up there now, okay? Lily? That's a no. And I'm watching. You cannot go up there. So I've just connected up our little cars. Oh, I had to think there for a minute. Little cars heat map for him because he's been down on the ground and it is winter. I do have the heater going here, as you can see. Well, I don't know if you can see, but it is a little bit overcast today, isn't it, Lily? Otherwise, I would yeah take Lily outside but yeah you know I would want everybody to have a very social snake like Lily but in saying that you have to be prepared to understand that they will chuck a hissy fit if you don't let them out and they will demand to come out every day. And who has that time? I'm very fortunate that I do, but there are days when I don't. And I feel so very guilty when I go out and I've seen Lily at the door and I've, I've got to just leave her because you know, I do have things to do. But in general, and a lot of the time I am home and I can keep Lily home, um, keep Lily out all day. She just does not know just how lucky she actually is to be able to have that. It is what she's used to. It is what I've allowed her to be able to do. And yes, she's probably absolutely spoiled rotten because of it. And that's her behavior. She will destroy her enclosure. Um, if I don't open up the door and you know, not that I mind, but it really is her throwing her little temper tantrum and it is her way of me opening up that door and then her coming out so she's she works it really well she knows how to get to me and to get her own way so for me that's what it means to have very social snakes expect them to demand to come out and be with you and want to be not necessarily with you but out cruising checking things out exploring and uh, I understand man this has got to be better than sitting in an enclosure all the time it really does 
and I love Lily and I love who she is and what she is and uh, I don't want it to be any different well chill out day and this is Lily and me and sometimes guys she doesn't go up to the hangout spot sometimes she does hang down here only difference is generally Molly's laying here so Lily even though Lily isn't worried about the dogs at all she'll tend to sort of stay up on the top of her enclosure and look down from there but if Molly isn't here then Lily takes a place she'll hang here now for the day she might move on up up higher later on if she starts to feel a little bit nippy but you certainly can't be laying on the couch with a snake behind the back of your neck kind of as your headrest Lily don't care great life chilling with your snake so guys take care of yourself and your family and your friends your snakes and all your animals hey Lily do you think you're going down instead of up and that that might work hey might that work I can see what you're doing Ciao.